What's up, everyone? 4,000 years ago in ancient Babylon, Hammurabi came up with a code of conduct. It was pretty harsh. Basically, he said, an eye for an eye. So if you were caught stealing, you'd have your hand lopped off. Now, think about that. That's pretty bad. If someone was starving, physically hungry, and they went after food to survive, they would suffer a harsh consequence. Still, people would do it. And that rule was actually enforced. Imagine if you traveled back in time, 4,000 years, and you saw someone who was physically hungry going after food. You would not want to just sit back and say condescendingly or judgmentally, hey, don't do that or you have your arm lopped off. Instead, you'd want to work with that person to help find a solution. After all, they're hungry. They're starving. They are dealing with something that is physical, and you'd want to help them with that. Now let's flash forward to the present moment. People who struggle with addiction are struggling with something that is as physical and as real as hunger and starvation. In fact, the hijacker in the brain takes over and it actually places importance of getting the substance over anything else. So if you are to meet up with someone who's struggling with addiction, instead of sitting back judgmentally, in the same way that 4,000 years ago, Hammurabi might have had people enforce consequences, what if you were to sit with someone right now, here and now, today, who's struggling with addiction and say, let me help you find a solution. Let me help you find a way to get the kind of support that can help you get through this. And guess what? The good news is when it comes to addiction, there is hope. There is help. There are treatments available that can really significantly help people. So instead of leading with judgment, think about leading with compassion.